Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to my top five airbrush triggers for 2024. Now I've pulled some off the wall, you can see some gaps on the wall. These are the five brushes that I've pulled out for you guys to look out for for 2024 with the triggers. Also the brushes and the price points on these are coming in, some are cheap and some tip. I'd say it's still under the £200 mark so they are I think that's a good price point for a brush around that. You're going to get a decent brush. You're going to get a decent trigger. And that's why I've picked out these five to look out for in 2024. So I'm going to move the camera in close. We'll do a little close up with the trigger and I'll talk you through why I think these triggers are brilliant on these brushes. So we'll move on to the first one. Right guys, first up is the Harder and Steenbeck Ultra 2024 edition. Now the reason why I've picked this brush is one is a great beginner's brush and the trigger on this is absolutely perfect for a beginner now the reason why i say it's perfect for a beginner is when you're starting out in airbrushing you need a trigger that's got a lot of tension for one feedback and control and i think the ultra's got that nailed it really has when it comes to comfortable as well it's really comfortable to the, for the top. So when you're a beginner and you're trying to find your sweet spot on the top of the trigger, you've got plenty of room to move your finger around to get comfortable with. And it just gives you that control and feedback. So this is the Harder and Steam Bet Ultra 2024 edition. Great price point for a beginner. I'll give you a little zoom in on the trigger so you get to see what the actual trigger top's like. Right guys, moving on to number two, we've got the Segola X-Tech 100. Now, the reason why I chose this one as a great trigger on a brush is if you're after something very, very silky soft, and I mean extremely soft trigger, I've had this brush on full tension. When you take the back off the brush, I've had it on full tension and done a demo with it, and it is ridiculously soft. Nice and smooth when you press down and silky smooth when you press when you start to pull back. So comfortable for long periods of time if you're sort of want a detail brush that's comfortable. It's a great trigger to look out for in 2024. Segola's not really been pushed much. You don't really see much of Segola, and that's why I brought this one into my top five. So that's the X-Tech 100 by Segola. I'll give you a little close up of the trigger. Right, next up on the list is the new Mobius by Galleria. Now, the reason why I chose this one to look out for, guys, in 2024 is it's an affordable brush, so it's not going to break the bank. And the reason why I like this trigger is the design of it, the way it's styled sort of angled down but very wide and very flat. It's also a very soft, responsive trigger. You've got a tensioner to the inside, so you can adjust your tension on your pullback to make it softer. I found this brush very comfortable on sort of full tension because it is still sort of very soft, but it's one to look out for. That's the Mobius new one by Galleria. I'll give you a little close up at the trigger. Right, next up for one to look out for in 2024, guys, this is the Iwata Takumi Eclipse. Now, the reason why I've chose this for trigger to look out for in 2024, it's at a good price point. Now, if you want the closest feel to a Micron with the comfortableness of the trigger top, the Eclipse Takuma is the one to go for. Now, the reason why I like this trigger as well is 
really nice angle on it, very grippy to the top and very wide. So when you put your finger on the top, you've got plenty of room, as I say, to find your sweet spot really comfortable you've got a tension on this brush as well so you can tension your trigger make it a little bit stiffer or a little bit softer to whatever you want but a really good one to look out for for 2024 guys and it's the eclipse takume i'll give you a close-up of the trigger Right, we're moving on to the last one. This is the final one in the top five and it is the Harder and Steenbeck Evolution CR Plus 2024. Now, the reason why I picked this brush to look out for, for trigger top, is if you're used to an original Evolution and the trigger, and you're wondering what the new ones are like, the new ones are even better, guys. They really are. The new designs on the triggers are more on point. You'll notice with the Evolution range you don't get a trigger tensioner on the inside of the brush but I found with the new Evolution CR Plus the tension of the spring going down as you press down and the tension that they've got sorted when you pull back is absolutely perfect guys it really is and we know what's coming from hns next we've got the infinity coming as well so that's going to be one to look out for so we'll do a close-up look at the evolution cr plus Right, so this is my roundup on the top five I'd say look out for in 2024 if you're looking for a brush. We've got the Mobius on a 0.2. We've got the Iwata Takumi Eclipse, that's on a 0.35. We've got the Segola X-Tech 100 on a 0.2. And we've got two H&S's. We've got the new Ultra on a 0.45. And we've got the new Evolution CR Plus on a 0.28 all brilliant brushes on trigger response comfortable as well they've all got sort of wide comfortable trigger tops so you can find your sweet spot whether you're a beginner or whether you're advanced you want something comfortable because these things stay in your hands for long periods of time so i hope you've enjoyed the video don't forget if you are new to this channel and you're liking the content click that subscribe press that notification drop us a thumbs up drop your comments as well if you do own any of these brushes give me your feedback and we'll have a chat about it and i'll see you in the next one cheers guys <laughs>